Welcome back. I just got through playing two bots that are rated far higher than me, and I got destroyed by both of them, even faster by the lower rated bot for some reason. And to blow off a little steam and hopefully to make myself feel a little better, I'm going to play some Blitz games just for fun against people around my rating range. But as we've pointed out before, Blitz is a pretty tough field here on chess.com. My rating is 780 right now, which is pretty low especially compared to my rapid rating and daily rating, which are in the 12 and 1300s respectively. So I'm going to try to not take this too seriously if I lose. And if I win, I'm going to try to not also take it too seriously. I'm going to just try to have some fun, maybe get some practice in the openings that I have been working on. Hopefully we'll get paired quickly. I got the black pieces. We're going to get the Karakhan defense here. And we're going to get this variation, which I almost always get that knight to f3. And then we exchange in the center. Sometimes they check with the bishop right now. They did. Okay, I'm going to take here and then take back with the knight. All right. And then I need to defend that pawn. So let's defend that pawn this way. We will get this bishop, I mean, this knight out like so. And maybe put it over here. You know what? Why not put both knights over here like this, like so, like that, and see if they want to take it? They might. If they don't, I, I plan to... Uh, oh, they did that? Okay, I plan to do this in castle. So we can still do that if they want to. Oh, they, they brought another knight in. Okay, I'll take that, and then I'll threaten the rook here. They'll take my bishop, I assume. They did, and now they need to move the rook, and then my plan is to castle. Okay, I, I'm going to castle. And then I guess I can start working on moving these pawns forward. Um, I need to get this rook over here to c8 probably before too long. Oh, they're aiming directly at my king. All right, uh, good job. That is something you can do now. I... Don't think I should be worried about that because, I mean, that's coming here, but then I won't be able to take it. Should I move my king now? Um, or should I put my queen out here? I don't know. They might move the rook over to threaten the queen, in which case I'll just move it again. And then they'll bring their other rook, and then I'll come back down here and we'll go around my e-pawn. If they move the rook over, I suppose I could just drop my queen back. Oh, they, they're going for that pawn? Oh, no, they're going for in here. Okay. Can I do that? Is that okay? And then bring this up one, I suppose. And then I can drop this way. I didn't go up two because then they would have just taken that pawn. But what? I, I, I don't know what they're doing. I, I really don't. I want to get this knight out here, I think, and put it over there to help block that rook's attack. All right, like so. And then maybe drop the queen back now that the knight's doing the job that my queen was doing. Did I say knight? I meant my queen. All right, like so. And then see where they move that knight. Uh, does the knight have any safe squares? Oh, it does there because I can't take because that pawn is pinned. Okay, then I would have to move my queen a little bit at that point. Like maybe here. I don't know if they'll see that that pawn is pinned. They might. I, I play some pretty sharp opponents sometimes. They did. Okay, it took them a little second, but, but they saw it. So good for them. Are they going to sacrifice their knight now? I don't know. But now I can take it, so they have to move it somewhere. They, maybe they're thinking about dropping it back? I don't know. We're about to find out, because now uh, I think, yeah, that's its only safe square. But now, what do I do? Now do I start this uh, march here like so? Maybe slide this rook back across behind my e-pawn? Okay, or actually I'll just put it there, I think. Oh, that pawn's undefended. That was rotten of me to, go, to leave it there undefended like that. Hmm, should I move it now? Uh, I don't know. They have all kind of things guarding that square. Or should I just defend it? Oh, they could have just taken it. It would have been a free pawn for them, wouldn't it? But now I can defend it again this way. That wasn't a good move, I can tell. Now they can, they can threaten it like this. But that weakens squares around their king. And then I can put my knight back. And once I put my knight back, that pawn is free again. Yeah, they just didn't realize at the previous turn. Maybe they do now. They didn't, okay, then I can protect it again, doubly here, and my knight has some running room, eh, a little bit, not much. You know what, let's go. Let's break this all open and let's just have some fun with it. I have a slightly better time, in, uh, time, whatever. I have more time on my clock than my opponent, is what I was trying to say. Let's fork those two pieces, which forces this rook trade here, and that, you know what, that wasn't a check. I'm gonna take their queen. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Okay. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that, I messed up big time there, didn't I? All right, let's just have some fun with it. Oh, that was a check. Oh, I won the rook. I, 
I, I didn't even realize I had done that when I click uh, when I checked over there. Oh, they can get that pawn now. Good for them. Where are they going? Where are they going? They got to go somewhere. Maybe back there. Then I can challenge it with the pawn. Oh, they went over here. Okay, I'm gonna check. Oh, I'm in check. Wow, that was fun. But when I check them, I can win that pawn over there. Is what I was about to say. They can check me again here in a second and win one of my pawns. But they didn't. Okay. Then I'm threatening one of their pawns. They're threatening my knight, so I'm going to check them and then go for one of their other pawns, maybe. Oh, I'm going to check them again, which helps protect the knight. And then I'm going to go here. Oh, they slid in there in the side. What can I do? I can check them. I have a time advantage. Let's see which way. Oh, I got another one of their pawns. Good for me. Right here. But now I, I don't have very many squares to get out. Oh, I'm in check. Being in check isn't fun, is it? Are they going to guard that square? What, by moving their king over? They, oh, they're going after one of my pawns. But I'm checking them first. Then I'm going to protect my pawn. No, I'm going to check them again. And then I'm going to go here. They're going to take my pawn. Oh, they did. Oh, that was rotten. Okay. Oh, and they got another one. No fun. They, oh. I don't know if that was good for them or not, but I, I've got to uh, start creating a passed pawn over here somehow. They're going to check me. Maybe. Let's see. Can I create a passed pawn right here? Oh, I did. Oh, they checked me, though. They're going to check me again. And I'm going to move up here where I'm guarding that square. I don't think they can stop my passed pawn on the H file. I don't think they can catch it. But I can't pre-move it because I can't let this one pass. Yeah. See, that was tricky. Now I... They resigned. Okay. Wow. Good game. Uh, I can't pronounce that name because I have the literacy skills of a wombat. I had a lot of blunders according to the game review. Let's just check it. Oh, wow. That, that's an embarrassing graph. But, but I had five great moves, which didn't quite make up for my nine blunders and five mistakes. All right. How bad? Oh, oh, that's a colorful list. Look at all the colors. Oh, my goodness. That's more colors than, than my child has crayons. And I played like a 600? Okay. Oh, wow, right through there. That's the section I need to check. Usually when there's a bunch of really sharp peaks and valleys in a row, that's usually me missing and my opponent missing the same thing over and over. So right in here someplace, we were about even, then my opponent gave me something that I missed. Yeah, their next move was a blunder. Is it that? Oh, I missed that. That would have forked their rook and their knight. Okay, I saw it almost immediately before I looked at the move list, so I feel pretty good, but yeah, I... Taking, I not only would have picked up a pawn, but I would have forked the rook. The rook would have had to have moved over at least to here to be safe, and I would have picked up the knight. But I didn't see it. I went after the knight that way. They came in here, which gave me something. D oh, wait, it said I should have played. What? I didn't play c6 because they would have taken this pawn. And it says they wouldn't. It says they would sacrifice their knight over there. Really? I didn't in the game, I right? I said I, the reason I didn't go all the way up is because they would have taken this pawn. And it says they wouldn't. Why wouldn't they take that pawn? Oh, because of this again. Well, that tactic, if I didn't spot it the first time, why would you expect me to spot it the second time? <laughs> all right. Well, that's why I didn't play there, because I didn't see that I could go down here and fork their rook and their knight once I moved here and they took that pawn. Not that they would have taken the pawn, but they probably would have because they didn't spot that the first time, so why would they spot it the second time? Like, I didn't. Okay, so that was a miss. Then they did that, and I have something really good here. Queen to e5. Oh, that, that's a lot better than what I played. I didn't do it just yet, but remember when I put my queen down here to attack the knight, and it could move up there, and it did, and I couldn't take with this pawn? I should have gone forward, which attacks the knight, and prevents it from going to the f5 square. Oh my goodness. Okay, I see that now. I, that's a miss because of what they can do. They made a mistake, but that mistake turned out to help them here in a second because that's what pinned the pawn. But I should have left the knight there and played rook to d7 or rook to d8 because the knight has nowhere to go. But instead I got my knight out of danger, which was a miss. I still had a slight lead. When they did that, I should have played rook to d7 or rook to d8, but instead I did this thing and then realized that my pawn was pinned and they could go over there. It took my opponent a little while, but they found it. So I'm going to say good job for them for spending the time. It went from 137 to 109. So you add in the two seconds increment that they got. They spent 30 seconds on that move and it was crucial. It was their only move. 
Now, they didn't know that, of course. I, I'm pretty sure they didn't know it, but they figured it out. They, I don't know if they spent that time checking all the squares where the knight can go and thought, oh, that one, I, it, took them, it took them 30 seconds, but I'm glad they found it, you know, because I don't want to play opponents who don't see those things. I saw it as soon as I put my queen here pretty quickly and realized eh, that that wasn't the best thing for me. Because earlier when I could have gone to queen to e5 to threaten the knight, I can't do that now because not only do they have a pawn here and my, my knight was in the way uh, and their rook is guarding that square, but earlier I should have gone up there, but now I can't. So yeah, this, this wasn't the best move for me. So they found that, and I say good job. Queen to d8 was one of my top three moves that kept us dead even. That was one of the moves that kept us even. Okay, I have a few different ones here. Queen to d6... Rook to c6, h5. Okay, I guess h5 is preparing to threaten the rook. I don't know that I would play h5 here, but it's it's one of the moves. Okay, so we were even here for quite some time, still very close to even, but I played a slight inaccuracy, giving my opponent an advantage if they will if they'll take this pawn. Okay, we noticed that too during the game. I said, oh no, that pawn, I undefended that pawn, or I failed to defend that pawn. They didn't see it. They thought they had to line up a rook on it. And here I had to play h5 to come after the knight. But I realized that pawn was hanging, so I went to defend it, which is kind of silly because it's still hanging. Now they're not supposed to take it. Really, f3 is their best move and they found it. Good job. I wouldn't have thought that was their best move, but it was. And now I need, now I need to bring my other rook over? I thought I did. It's a, it says I didn't. It says, oh, I why did I do that? I don't know. But that forced them to play g3, so I had to put my knight back, which so made it a wasted move. I thought I was loosening up their king squares, but now they are supposed to take the e6 pawn, and they didn't this time. Back to even. Okay, where did it where did it go wrong? Even? Is, is that where they lost it for good? Where are we in the graph here? No, that is not where they lost it for good, because I missed something there. Oh my. Yeah, it, it went on. I'm not going to go through the rest of the game. I'm going to play another one. That was fun, though. That was fun, and I think... Despite both of us having lots of blunders and stuff, I think we both had pretty good moments in that game. We both could have done better, obviously, but we didn't. So let's play another one. Oh, as always, the links to these games will be in the descriptions in case any of you want to go through them on your own. I got the black pieces again. Didn't I just have the black pieces? Well, that... Yeah, I, I'm not going to play that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, aborting too often may lead to your account being restricted. Yeah, that's fine. I, I'm not going to play against that. I'm still trying to learn regular, real openings. If I s struggle and strain through the entire game just because they started with H4, it's not going to be worth my time, and it's not going to be fun, which is why we're doing this. So let's play a new game. Okay, got the black pieces again. We are going to get another Karokan defense. Okay, are we going to get... No, we did not get the exchange variation. This is the advanced variation that C3 is what they play a lot. I think I can put this knight here. I'm putting pressure on that pawn. So are they, but I can pin that knight, removing its defense of that pawn. Okay, that, that's one thing they can do. I can go over here, which adds pressure on that pawn and directly threatens the bishop, and it'll usually take, and I will take back. But have they not seen that before? Or, or did I mess up? Okay, they they thought about it for a second. What you know, good for them. I, I let's go ahead and defend my center pawn a little bit more here, and that also gets out my dark squared bishop, which I want to do soon. Not sure they've already castled, so this pin is going to go away pretty quickly. Like for example, they could just move their queen, and then that knight's not pinned anymore. Oh, but they've added defense to this. I you know, good for them. Can we get this knight out and add another attacker to their d-pawn? Oh, they did that instead, and that attacks my queen. Take this pawn. Is it is it a poisoned pawn? Is that what they call it? I'm going to take it. I don't know if that's good. Uh, that, yeah, that might have been a big mistake. They're going to put the knight here, I think. Oh, they put it there. Oh, that's a free knight, pretty sure. And I can run away, I think. Okay, I'll take that. I think this is a free pawn, too, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if it is or not. Well, we're about to find out, and, and I'm attacking that pawn as well. I don't know if I'm supposed to take it. Oh, they do that. I can always escape here if I need to. I can still get this knight out. That, wait, that's a, there's nothing defending that bishop. What's going on? Oh, they, they did that by accident. Okay. Hey, good job. Uh, again, that's a username I can't pronounce. But, you know, good job for trying. Let's run the game review. I did check my opponent's profile just out of curiosity. They joined earlier this year, and they've been steadily improving as they went. So, good job. 
Even though this game didn't go well for them, they made a good try of it, and they didn't quit right after that first blunder. Where I think that was a blunder where they gave away their night. They kept going, so I, you know, good job for them. And then after a couple of more, they let it go, which is fine. I did really well. Oh, they only had the one blunder. Okay, so my opponent did pretty well too. But I had no inaccuracies, no mistakes, no blunders, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna guess their blunder was giving away the night. Because here we were still fairly close to even. My opponent has a slight edge. I thought they were going to put the knight here on d2. That's what normally happens in this situation. I mean, I don't know that I've been in this exact position before, but fairly close. Yeah, knight b to d2 is what they should have played. Or queen to b3. That's b3, right? Yeah, and I definitely wouldn't have wanted to take the rook then because then my queen would kind of be trapped in the corner. Uh, at that point, we would have traded queens and we would have been close to even. Queen to d2 would have been another possibility really oh again yeah i don't think i would have wanted to take the rook because yeah their other rook would be pointed at it that was their only blunder both of those were fun what the second one i mean yeah the second one was fun because i i did the right things the whole time and i won the first one was fun because of the, the blunders all over the place i <laughs> didn't know what to do half the time oh did i and i won that one too okay well then that is also why it was fun wait oh i'm getting really close to 800 Oh, do you think I haven't been past 800 in so long in Blitz? Can I do it? Oh my. Now I feel pressure. I shouldn't have looked at that. Okay. Let's play another one. Oh, I got the white pieces. Okay, well, let's try the Vienna, and, unless they do the Scandinavian. They didn't. Okay, we're going to play this. The I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to play this F4 pawn, which probably isn't a good idea, but what? I, that wasn't good, right? Oh, I should have probably just checked or something. But now I can play d4 and have both my bishops ready over there. If they play that d-pawn, I'm going to pin their knight with my light squared bishop. They did, and I did. Now I can castle. I don't want to attack just yet. I want my king to be safe and also have my rook pointed right down through here. If they move that knight, I will take their bishop with check. They're, they're not moving it. Oh, they, they did that. Okay, now I'm going to play d4. I Oh, that... That pawn is defended. Okay, for a second there, I thought I was giving him that pawn, but I'm not. Uh, my other knight is defending the E pawn. My knights are defending both of those pawns. Okay, if they take that one, I will take with my knight, which opens up my queen's path to H5 and threatens their bishop. So let's... Oh, they, they did that instead. All right. Ah, uh, I guess take it. I And then I'll take this when they... T I assume they... Oh, I want to take that too, but... but uh, yeah, that's probably better. I don't know. And then I'll take this. Okay. Are they about to castle? Then, then it'll be too late for me to do this. Okay. They did. All right. Well, good for them. You know, check. Oh, I, I probably should have forked their rooks, right? Okay. Should I do that now? My rook is guarding that so their queen won't take it. I, I assume their queen won't take it. And then which rook would be... Well, they can't move. They can't move that one. So I guess I'm going to take that one. Depending on what they do. Oh, they did that. Okay. Um, I don't know which one to take. Uh, I'll take that one, I guess. Oh, my queen's hanging. <laughs> All right. Well, this player is rated over 800, and uh, they seem like... Oh, they... What? Oh, they're going to check me in the corner. Good job. I'm going to take that rook, though. They're, they're going to check me there? Yeah, they did. They did check me in the corner, and now they can take my knight. So, good job. They did. Okay, I'm going to threaten their bishop and then maybe do this or something. My opponent is ahead on material and other things right now, so... Oh, they, they took another pawn. All right, I'll take that, I guess. They're, they're going to check me here. Oh, they didn't. They went after the rook. Okay, check. And then I can pin their knight to their queen, and I can bring my other rook over. Oh, they did that. That hurt. I only have one choice then, so that was good for them, I guess. What do I need to do with this rook? Oh, I need to line it up with the other rook, right? I think. Should I push this pawn? That that probably doesn't help anything. I should probably pull this rook up here and start aiming at some of their pawns. Ah, uh, they came after that rook. And I don't want to pull this rook up and threaten their queen because they're aiming for something like a checkmate or something. So I should move it where? Oh, you know what? My bishop can block down there too, can't it? So why don't I go here? And then and then I can do that. And now when I take... If I t take their knight, it'll be check. I don't know if... If I'll get a chance to take it. But their knight is pinned. I have to keep that in mind. Their knight is pinned. So I can threaten it. Maybe with the... Oh, like this? Wait, wait. No, 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 no. They're threatening mate. They're threatening mate. Can I stop it? Oh, but if I put my rook here, that unpins the knight. Darn it. 
I mean, yeah, it unpinned the night. But I had to stop mate. I don't. I think that's the only way I could have stopped it. Okay. I. Oh, and that undefends the rook. Good job. There's a reason they're 800. Now they get the rook. Oh no, my my other rook's defending it. <laughs> and I'm slightly ahead on time. They're aiming for that pawn. Okay, I'm gonna do what I said, which is go here and aim for their pawns. I, they also may attack my rook here in a second. I'm gonna try to be careful with it. I, ooh, I, I don't know what that does. What does that do? I, I don't know what that does. Should I take the? Should I take a pawn? I'm, I'm gonna take this pawn because my bishop's defending that. That's why I chose that one. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I have to move this. Are they gonna try to trade off? They, they did that. Okay, and then that's not quite a mate because I can get out, right? Yeah, it's not a smothered mate because I'm not completely blocked in. But it's getting close to something here. Oh, they're short on time. I, I'm going to go ahead and check there. I don't know what else to do, and I'm going to try to do a perpetual if I can. I know that won't help me get above 800, but that's okay, just because I feel like I'm about to lose this game. And I can't move this bishop, so it's it's out of the running right now. I would like to get this lined up with their queen, I, but they probably won't go for that. They probably won't. Oh, they did. Oh, uh, I'm going to give up both rooks for their queen and then hope to win this game on time. That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go out here and check and try to try to get out this way. They are coming toward my bishop. I'm going to try to protect it with pawns like so. If they take it, that's fine. They did. Go that way. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot about the pre-move. Okay. Um, they, oh. Okay. Which way are they going to go? Oh, that's, that's going to be hard. Should I go this way or that way? I don't know. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. That might have been a mistake. Where's their promotion square? It's G. Okay, so I'm going to go here and then push this pawn. Oh, no. Okay, either way, I'm not going to be in check when they promote. They're going to promote and guard my promotion square. That's rotten. Okay. They're probably going to checkmate me here in just a second. Okay. Are they going to get another queen? That's what most of my opponents usually do at this point, is they go ahead and get another queen. Yep, they're going to go ahead and get another queen. No? Now they are. Well, now it makes sense. There's nothing I can do about it now. I messed up at some point, but I'm going to make them beat me. Because a lot of my opponents actually do not know how to checkmate with the queen and the king. Uh, I don't have a lot of choices here. This one does look like they know how to do it, so we'll find out here in just a second. And if they move the king forward again, then I'm stuck on the back rank already. I only had two choices. Now I only have one legal move, and they have mate right here, or down there, or down there. They had mate at least three different places to checkmate me, so good job to this one as well. And that one was kind of fun, even though I lost and did not get to 800. Usually, in my experience, if you win a couple in a row, it pairs you with somebody a little higher, and that's what it did to me in this case, which is fine. This one was also all over the place. Wow. We were apparently even. What was the point at which I gave it away? That's the... And then there's another point there. Let's uh, just go to here. We are close to even. My opponent played their best move, and I should not have defended the bishop. I should have moved it. Okay. That's where I lost it. Wow. I didn't think that's what it was. I should have moved it here to protect the pawn. That makes sense. That protects the pawn, and it threatens their pawn, which they would have moved their pawn, and then I would have started bringing my king. Well, at this point, I was not sure whether I had won or lost, but I was banking on the time advantage. I want to go back and see if it was a good move to give away my queen to trade off for the queens. Where where did that happen? Okay, that was a good move. Okay, I wasn't sure. The, the queen for my rooks. Okay, yeah, that was my only move that wasn't a blunder. But was it wasn't, surely it wasn't their best move to go that direction. Oh, it was one of their only two. I mean, it was, I thought it would have been better for them to go that way, but it said it wouldn't have mattered. So that was one of their two only two legal moves at that point. Okay, well that's the direction that I wanted them to go because I thought I would have a much better chance with this time advantage if we traded off the two rooks for the queen. That was a great move. It was their best move to take, mine to take back, and there's only move to take back. Uh, okay, it was my check that was the that was a problem here. It wasn't a mistake. I think we were still even, 
But yeah, I should have saved a move and just gone to d4 first. Or moved one of the two pawns first. Okay, so this gave away a little bit because their king gets to move. But king to g1 wasn't bad. Knight to e5 wasn't bad. But I needed to play here. I needed to play to the d4. Okay, but I did that instead. And they went there, and now I had to play bishop to d4, but instead I blundered, and they had the advantage from there. But there's a point here at which it said it made us even, and then I, but I missed it. Where was it? Still not there. We're still not even. Oh, that's close to even. Nope. It said minus one for a second, but then it went back to minus five. All right. Okay, that's very close to even if I play a4. You know what, though? I was still I was still counting on the time advantage, but I guess this opponent kicked it into high gear, and that's one reason that they're rated over 800, is they know when to do that. I A4 was my only move. I played my third best move, which was very bad, and now my opponent is can do almost anything they want and have an advantage, and they did that. That's fine. Did I make any other mistakes here? I mean, there wasn't much I could do, right? Oh yeah, I didn't recognize until too late. I thought they were gonna go with this pawn at first, which is why I moved my king to a light square so it wouldn't be in check. But then I realized too late when they started going with the H pawn that they were gonna promote and be guarding the promotion square. It didn't matter, I, I was already in pretty bad shape at that point. I don't think I could have done anything differently there. But I had fun, that was the point. I did win a couple. I don't remember what my rating started out as, but it's a little higher than it was. Surely it has to be. Maybe someday I will be over 800. Thanks for spending your time here. I'll see you in the next one.